So it's a chance once again for Brighton and Hove Albion's academy side to strut their stuff against senior opposition in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy. Southern Group B has provided a goal fest and certainly some spectacles already on match day one. Match day two sees a reuniting of the quarter finalists from this competition last season. Wickham Wanderers hosting Brighton and Hove Albion's young side. And a chance for revenge for the Seagulls here at Adams Park. They've got the away side a little rattled here now. Lubala in behind, strokes it home. They're not just rattled. They've been rocked in that back line, Brighton and Hove Albion, as Bez Lubala strikes it home and gives Wickham Wanderers the breakthrough. The 26-year-old happy to make his mark on the new season. First goal of the campaign in all competitions in just his second appearance. Not sure how happy Knight was receiving that pass from his centre-back as Vickers almost moving it on like a hot potato. So many blue shirts around, it was uh, Difficult one for the holding midfielder to deal with. Again, there's no real opportunity on this near side for Cameron Pupion to really do anything with it. And there's another mistake in the back line again. Kieran Sadlier on it this time. He leaves no doubt. And the 30-year-old happy to nestle that one into the bottom corner to make this look like a relatively comfortable night for Wickham Wanderers so far. Sadly, are in behind. Dangerous pass across the face of the 18-yard box, to say the least. Particularly when the control's poor, that's even worse. Labala's onto it, 3-0. And there is absolutely nothing that Killian Cahill can do. Ten minutes to go before the break, plus any stoppage time. Wheeler on the chase, keeps his footing, could be the first half hat-trick. <laughs> Welcome back, Bezla Bala, your first start of the season. And there's a match ball for the mantle. David Wheeler just keeping his footing just enough as he tangled with Jacob Vickers. It's unselfish. It's a comfortable finish. It's a welcome return to goal scoring form. Pupion wants to be much further up the field. Having the opportunity to perhaps run off the likes of Harry Howell and into the space in behind. That's not a bad ball over the top instead for Samuels who gets between the two defenders. And it's the first time, really, that Shamal George has had to stretch for anything. Breaking in behind the defensive line. Almost got away from Skura and Pattenden. They did enough to put him off. Samuels regathers things and Howe tries to reorder things in terms of pushing forward, but can only go back to the left-back. Pupion goes down inside the area, and that's a penalty. A rare chance for the 21-year-old to really cause some problems for that Wickham back line. Harry Howe stood over it to revive his side, perhaps. Well, they've got a handful of minutes and a full half of football left to find three more. But it's a start. Wickham looked to keep the pressure on here.
Everybody waiting for a flag. Labella is not hanging around though. And this is turning into a record night for Bez Lubala, who finds his fourth of the evening and Wickham's fifth. Just played on, perhaps, by Charlie Tasker. It's a kind bouncing ball that sits up to be struck. Skurr under pressure. Duffus feeds it inside. Better ball across goal. It's 5 2. I feel arriving. He's been quiet this evening as well, Marcus Eiffel. Just biding his time before entering the 18 yard box. All the attention was on Perpion. And he just gets ahead of Hartridge and can't miss from that sort of range. Lovely combination, Pupillon in behind, and George smothers him. Although the referee, I think, has pointed to the spot for a penalty. Harvey, the offender, and shown the yellow card. And it's another chance from 12 yards to eat into the deficit here for Brighton. Well, how much of a shove was there from Daniel Harvey? It was all fair from Shamal George, that's for sure. Howell will step up. Another chance from 12 yards. He goes the opposite way. The keeper goes the wrong way. Well, there may well still be hope. Wickham's defensive frustrations continue this season, conceding three tonight. Butcher. McCarthy, Bartolo trying to get into it on the channel, but can't come away with it, but his side come away with a victory. Not the most convincing result in the end for Matt Bloomfield and his Wickham Wanderers outfit, but it's the result that he would have wanted. Three points to put them back in the equation in the group in the Bristol Street Motors trophy this season. It all came thanks to four goals from Bez Lubala. The fourth coming after just 50 minutes when Wickham were 5-1 up thanks to his strikes and Kieran Sadlier's effort in the first half as well. And it's Wickham that wrap up the victory on home soil tonight in just about a convincing enough fashion. It finishes here, Wickham Wanderers 5, Brighton's under-21 side 3.